What is balance? Hi, my name is Doug. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and I specialize in helping people with balance problems learn to walk again. What is balance? Many people really don't have a good answer to that question, but most people know when they're losing their balance. The truth is many seniors have trouble with their balance. They might be shuffling when they walk. They might have to use a walker or cane just to feel stable. A lot of people have trouble with their balance, but they don't know really how to answer the question of what is balance. There's really two ways to think of balance. There's functional balance, which means if I measured your balance, if I tested your balance, how good is your actual balance? But then there's another thing called perceptual balance. Perceptual balance is how balanced we feel. So I'm going to start with perceptual balance. You know when you're feeling balanced. You can tell when you're walking if you feel st stable or if you feel like you're about to fall. So what part of the brain is this all happening in? It turns out there's one region of the brain and that region tells your frontal lobe that you're balanced. You can think of it as whole body awareness. When that part of your brain tells your, your frontal lobe, yes, I'm completely stable and balanced, then the person feels balanced. The thing is, a lot of things have input into that region of the brain. Now, many people will talk about the inner ear. In the inner ear, there's an organ that tells your brain when you're accelerating in one direction. So if you tilt your head to the right or left, or if your body suddenly moves forward or backward or against gravity or, or, or with gravity, that part of the brain, that organ, can tell your brain about that angular motion. There's another part of the brain that is responsible for something called proprioception. Proprioception is the awareness of where your limbs are in space. So at any given moment, you know if your hand is here or here because of your proprioceptive sense. So that information is also given to that same region of the brain that gives you whole body awareness. So does vision, so does hearing, so does touch. In every muscle in your body, there are little receptors that tell your brain what the position is of that muscle. That information goes there. Also, fear. If you're afraid for any reason, that enters into whether or not you feel stable. So even if all the other information is telling your body that you're stable, but you're afraid, your brain is gonna think, I'm not steady, I'm actually unbalanced. You might even feel a sense of dizziness. Let me give you an example. If you're afraid of heights and I ask you to go up on a 20-foot ladder and fix something, when you get up to the top of that ladder, if you're afraid of heights, you might very much feel a sense that you're falling. You might even feel dizziness. You're not dizzy. Your, your inner ear is not telling you you're dizzy. Your proprioceptive sense isn't telling you you're dizzy. Your limbic system is. Your limbic system is where fear comes from. When the fear is high enough, your brain is going to think, I am not balanced. I'm actually dizzy. So why am I talking about all these things? For you to have a sense of balance, all of those things have to be okay. All of those senses have to be intact and giving you information that you're stable. So when you don't feel stable, it could be any of those systems that's giving you the wrong information. It could be that your inner ear isn't working right or your proprioceptive sense isn't up to par. It could even be that maybe you just don't know how to walk on whatever you're trying to walk on and so you feel unsteady. It could be fear. All of those things come together to give you that perceptual sense of balance. Now let's talk about functional balance. When I ask someone in my clinic to stand on one leg, I'm measuring their functional balance. They might not feel dizzy when they, when they come in, but if I ask them to stand on one leg and they feel dizzy, that's them perceiving that they're dizzy. But if I don't see them lose their balance when they stand on one leg, then I'm gonna say, well, functionally, they can stand on one leg. I might ask them to walk heel to toe on something. Again, I'm watching if they lose their balance when they do these things. I ask them to turn, I ask them to walk backwards. Those are all measures of functional balance. So when someone says they're balanced, they might be talking about their perceptual balance, how they feel, 
Or they might be actually talking about their functional balance because they know, hey, when I try to walk on the grass, I lose my balance. Or when I try to walk backwards, I, I always am falling or I feel like I'm going to fall. So it's really important to understand that those two types of balance, functional and perceptual, are really what we're talking about when the person is coming to me and saying, I'm having a balance problem. It could be either of them. It could also be both of them. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.